Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be diving into a new mod pack called Chemical Exchange. So, I hope you guys are ready. So, let's go ahead and get things started. Right off the bat, we're going to create a new world, and we're going to go with uh, the Meteor world. There's two different types, Meteor and Standard. We're going to go with Meteor, uh, as it does seem like Valen had something to do with that, and he's a friend of mine, so... Chemical, we're going to probably name this world Chemical um, Imbalance. I think that sounds like a good name. I think that's going to work well. So we have a Chemical Imbalance world. And guys, we are in our new world. A uh, few things that you may notice that might be different than your world is I have my minimap turned off. You can do that by going to Options, Minimap, and just turning it off here in your main preset. Um, of course, I can always hit Tab if I want to see it. But uh, usually in Skyblocks, I don't uh, really mind. I'm also using shaders. If you want to know what shaders I'm using, it's BSL shaders. This is a perfect path or pack for shaders as it is mostly tech and you don't have any uh, crazy magic mods in here. So I also have some, I have two books in my inventory as well. We have our quest book and we also have the alchemistry guidebook. The alchemistry guidebook is going to help you progress and learn about the mod alchemistry. Because uh, this is a heavily chemistry based pack, which uh, is actually a predecessor uh, to another pack. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the quest book. So you can use the quest book, which is here, right? Uh, which we might be familiar with. It's FTBU, FTB quests, um, or I have mine keybind to Z. So I do actually do not need the quest book, but do not throw it away as you'll need it later. Um, but I, if you see me using it, it's probably, I'm probably hitting Z to get here. So let's just start here, right? So, right here, welcome to uh, Chemical Exchange, which is what we're playing, a Skyblock experience featuring Alchemistry and Project E, which those two together sound really cool and actually intrigued me to want to use this to get to know the Alchemistry mod, because I think uh, it's definitely worth getting to know. So we're going to get a stone pick, we're going to get some in-game currency that we can use in our shop later on, and we're going to get carbon unlocked in our shop. So it tells us right here, purchase carbon, that's what we're going to need to do. So everything in here can be helped along with this quest book and you're kind of have to use the quest book as you're going to have to use the shop. Um, so it's telling us we need to buy 16 carbon. Well, you can do that right here and right here. You can just put 16 and hit accept and that will buy 16 for you. So we have now 16 carbon in our hand, right? Wonderful. So we go back into our quest book and you can see we've unlocked some more things and some more currency. We got one new thing that is really good, which is the chemical combiner, and we also got a sterling generator. Um, since we're going to be working with coal, the sterling generator is going to be really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and place that down. I'm going to place the chemical combiner next to it, and inside the sterling generator, we can actually put some of the carbon that we just bought in it. It does have a burn rate of just a very, just a, a small amount, right? Um, and what you want to do is we're going to be looking for coal or charcoal. Both are the equivalent. So charcoal, for example, is made in here in this specific slot. Um, and if we wanted to make coal, for example, we can uh, divide this and we can see both now. And it is in the other slot. So whereas this one is in the right slot, this one's in the middle top slot for coal. Uh, both doesn't really matter. They're gonna use the exact same amount each time, which is eight. Right? And you see it just auto-consumed what we had and gave us coal. Uh, but you can just put the normal 8 in there. Um, what you can also do with this is you can pause this. So if you want to set a certain amount and you don't want it consuming things while you're building the recipe, you can pause it. That's a good thing to do. Also, pausing and locking recipes are used for automation later on. So I hope you guys are ready because I'm throwing lots of information your way. We just unlocked coal, which is now going to get us a chemical dissolver and some cellulose. So the chemical dissolver also requires power. So let's place this next to our sterling generator and we'll give it some of that coal that we just made. Mine as well, right? Um, and we're gonna get ourselves some cellulose. Now, cellulose is going to be used to make a sapling and we kind of need this and we'll unlock this. Sapling is gonna be the way we progress all the way through here. So if we search up how to make a sapling, you're gonna see it's gonna start to involve the cellulose, which you can see is C H which is 10 and then oxygen five. Um, and you're gonna find out what that is. It's carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So a good thing to notice here 
before we even start talking about the dissolver is when you place items in the dissolver, you're going to get your base chemicals. Uh, so you should get six carbon, 10 hydrogen and five oxygen. Uh, and you're going to notice as we progress through here that that's how that's going to be done. And you can see right here to make saplings, we need oxygen and we also need some cellulose. So we don't want to burn up all of our cellulose, but let's take a look at what cellulose can give us. In that new chemical dissolver we just got, we can break this down into five oxygen. Remember how earlier I said it can be broken down into its base aspects. I say aspects, its base chemical properties, um, and it'll give you them right here. And it's 100% chance. Also keep a look at that, because some sometimes it's not always 100%. So if you put that in here, you can see that we just got the base properties here. So we'll take those out. And to get saplings, to get this specific sapling, because you can get any sapling, right? So if we really wanted to be really efficient or super efficient with this, we'd probably go with jungle saplings as we could get a lot more from our jungle saplings. As you can see, uh, we'll get four here. And jungle saplings are usually one of the best trees to plant. So let's go ahead and, and, and think about this. If we place down this, or we put this inside of our chemical uh, combiner, we're gonna need two cellulose and one oxygen. So two cellulose and one oxygen right there and that will give us the jungle saplings. Now, we place those down and we start to do our dance. And that gets us tons and tons of wood, right? And uh, if you wanna harvest all of this wood, you simply hold right click and you will ore excavate all of it. Now, it did seem like we missed a little bit, so I am gonna go up here and mine out the rest. But uh, it does seem like, yeah, there's a reach issue. But you can see all of our saplings end up dropping. That's a good thing. It's definitely a good thing. So what we can do with the wood that we just gav gathered is we can actually throw it in this dissolver and get more cellulose. And it's 100% chance with logs. So that is just basically steps that we've already completed. As you can see, we just unlocked a bunch of things, right? We also unlock the ability to purchase some of this, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. And then we also just unlocked our transmutation table. So we all unlocked quite a quite a bit, right? Right away. Uh, one of the things I definitely want to make now is going to be a crafting table. And we'll just throw that right in the center for now. Um, and then our transmutation tab table, might as well throw it here next to our other machines. What we can do now is this will now accept our base chemicals. Here are our bases to work with. It does not do things like our cellulose and things like that, um, but the cellulose can be broken down like we looked at earlier into its base components, which is really nice because now we're just building EMC, right, at this point. So we're just using this to build up some EMC so we can make even more, uh, more complex uh, chemicals. So throw this all in here. And that's how you generate some EMC. And you're gonna you're gonna need wood and stuff like that but carbon you can pull out of here and remember you can throw carbon in here and now we just got eight of those throw this in here we're gonna get ourselves some sticks and we've just made some torches so now we have a way to light up our area right we also unlocked a few things we unlocked some more money so you can see stuff like that also you can see right here cellulose repeatable we can actually take this and we can get more money. And it says right here, 250 money per 16 cellulose. It does, it looks kind of weird where it says one, but this is 200. So technically I can take this once we have a bit more power. So let's take some of that carbon out, right? And we throw it in here, we'll get ourselves some coal. That way we're always burning some fuel. Um, and we'll go ahead and we'll just break more of these down. 16 of these in the quests equals this. So you just submit, and that granted us 250 more coins, which is really nice. But you can automate this process by using this quest chest. And uh, very simply, we just make a chest. Um, takes like no time at all, make your chest, and then combine your quest book. That's why I said keep your quest book on you, because you're gonna need it. And there we go, you just made some more money. Um, and that quest right here can be added to things. So we can sit there and say, all right, I wanna submit, and you just have them automatically imported in with a hopper. And uh, 
there you go, you have some automation. So as far as I know, this fire is just not useful right now. Um, and I don't believe we need any of this fire because there is another map that doesn't have any fire on it. So to help cut out some of the noise, we're gonna break some of the fire and we're also gonna start building. Um, so what we can do is take our oak and I'm just gonna start building with it. Uh, we really need to build some platforms because we really need to get a mob farm off in the distance. Um, and I'm going to kind of extend this and we're going to branch off of this platform here. Yeah, because eventually we might have some stairs, we might have some, the ability to walk up this. Uh, but we have to get a mob farm up and running. Now there's some things that can help us in regards to our mob farm. That is the polluted earth. So polluted earth is something that we have to buy because um, I don't believe we can make it. Um, so it is in our shop right here for 500 except and once we have one we get five more so that means we have a total of six and you can see right here we're going to start branching off into some more chemical based stuff um, that we need um, and also what we could do is get ourselves a diamond sword so we're going to need eight stacks of these so it's one two three four five six seven eight and then this all lined up will equal one diamond now the reward for getting a diamond is a diamond sword so the kind of it's kind of handy kind of you know I got given a gift um, for doing this so uh, what I need to do is I need to get just your standard mob farm up and running so when it comes to a basic mob farm this is about as basic as it gets um, what I do need to do however by the way if you notice these it's a Halloween event <laughs> I think it's coming, I can't remember what mod, I think it's coming from one of the core mods though. Um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get this lined up here. These corner bits I probably am going to get rid of. But yeah, you just kind of line this up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place um, a little patch here in the middle that is going to take up these six blocks and the outside blocks are going to be just wood here. So I'll place those and I'll make sure to get back. I don't know how quickly these spawn item or spawn mobs, but... I do want to stand back, make sure it is dark, and that's why we have this thing 24 blocks away. And look at that. Mobs have already spawned. We've already got ourselves a creeper in here. We already got ourselves an enderman. It does seem like this is going to work out just fine. And so, yeah, we just need to hack away at the mobs and, uh, you know, get rid of them. Basically, and pick up their, their drops, because these drops are going to be very important to us. Um, yeah, I probably don't need these corner bits. But if you do so want the corners, um, it shouldn't hurt anything actually to have them. If anything, it might protect you because you don't want to be standing in the corners if creepers spawn because they do have a chance of exploding. And, you know, exploding in this farm is probably not going to be a good idea. Oh, I'll ever take this, uh, take the ender pearls. This thing drops. Look at that. Oh, no ender pearl. So after doing a bit of farming, not too much. We do get these Halloween lollipops as it is, like I said, near Halloween while I'm recording this. Be careful with these because these things can do some really nasty things. As you see, it says milk should be useful. Yeah, because it does give you some really nasty effects. I do not recommend experimenting with those until later on uh, as these things can be pretty nasty. These come from the tombstone mod, um, which, yeah, already has some really interesting things as well. So... We need to branch off. This right here is going to start giving us some uh, some stonium or, or stronium. Some interesting different uh, chemicals. We're also going to get some money. Basically, we're going to get our money back for most of our, our things we had to uh, go about doing. Um, but you can see right here, that just basically unlocked it, I guess. That unlocked the reward uh, in there. But these bones can be broken down. Rotten flesh is something that I guess we get money for. Wow, okay, that's a pretty nice reward. And these are repeatable, so 16 Rotten Flesh is gonna give us quite a bit of money here. Um, and then Gunpowder as well, quite a bit of money. So that's not too bad, and later on we can set up automation for these things. Um, so, let's go ahead and just break down some bone here. And that's gonna get us some Hydroxylaphate. I hope I said that correctly. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have so much fun pronouncing these things, and these things can be broken down even further into hydroxide, into phosphate, into calcium, um, and we kind of want to do that. We want to break these down, um, and I think just one of them breaks down into each of these different uh, different 
uh, different, uh, what do they call them, uh, base components. And calcium is one that we can add here, right? Um, and then if we break down one of these, we get two more. One of these is a phos uh, phosphorus, which we do not have yet. So we're just basically breaking down these different components here. And of course, um, hydroxide is going to be oxygen and hydrogen in one to one. Um, phosphate, we've already broken it down and these. So um, I kind of want to keep some of these over here, whereas any of our bases need to go in this. So I'm just going to keep these for now as we might need them later. But uh, yeah, farming, farming your mobs is going to be pretty nice for these materials. This is going to get us uh, protein, which of course protein can probably be broken down into several different parts, it looks like. Oh, that always scares me. Uh, sulfur being one, um, and we also got nitrogen, which we haven't gotten yet. So nitrogen can go in here, and sulfur can go in here. We're building our different um, chemicals here. We're building our different base chemicals, which is great. Uh, or base aspects. I always call them, call them aspects, but this is not magic. Not magic at all. Compounds, base compounds, there we go. So now that we have all of this section done, it's probably time that we move into the iron. Um, so moving into our iron section is just a task of, I guess, buying one iron. So we can actually buy iron for a thousand right here. And of course there are, like I said, other ways that you can generate these chemicals. And of course we wanna throw this in here, right? And we're going to be looking for Fe because we are going to need a bit of iron. Iron, of course, is going to go in here and we can generate iron in different ways. We can generate it in dust form. We can generate it in ingots um, and it can be used to create some uh, other things like iron oxide and things like that. So we just probably want 16 for our iron. Luckily, I've built up some EMC, so we should be able to get a bit of iron here. This right here is going to equal four. So if we do two stacks right? We should be able to get eight, right? Um, and place this in here. Right here is where we're going to put it for our, our ingots. And there we go. We have some iron ingots. Um, and of course, we can get this unlocked. This just unlocked silicon. Silicon we probably need to buy as well. We'll just buy one. And when we throw silicon in here, silicon is sort of the backbone of making cobblestone. So what we need to do this is to make cobblestone, we can take a look here. Cobblestone is going to require um, silicon dioxide. And silicon dioxide is two parts hydrogen, one part silicon. So um, that's what we're going to be using. You can also make stone with this as well. Both of them work. But I recommend placing your oxygen in and getting these two chemicals to mix in our chemical combiner. And of course, we got a little bit of this ingot left. If you want to break the stuff back down, you always can break it back down if you made too much. Um, and then up here, I'm going to split this. I'm going to do half cobblestone. So this is going to make cobblestone. And then this side, I'm going to make stone. Just like that. Pretty simple to get these things made, right? And all this is working around here, the EMC table, which is, oh, I'm, I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this. I'm probably going to turn this off. So now that we finished our silicon, we get 500 more and we also unlock aluminum in our shop. And it tells us up here we need to get some aluminum. Of course, we're going to have to farm a little bit, but we can make a furnace now, of course. A good old fashioned furnace. And that is going to give us even more money. Now, this section, it tells us right here under the hopper, what? Or it says, want a hopping bonsai? It is this way. So we need to make ourselves a hopper in order to get into that progression. And then over here is going to get us into the liquefier and iron spikes. Iron spikes, of course, will be used later on to automate a mob farm. Not particularly this mob farm, as I do want a different kind of mob farm uh, that we can build once we have enough cobblestone. I, I want to build a nicer farm, right? I want to build like an overhead one. Um, so we have our iron spikes, we have our liquefier, this right here, and we also have water bucket, uh, which water bucket is going to be something we actually need to make. So I might as well make ourselves a bucket because to get water in it, we need to make ourselves some H2O. And you can guess it, H2O, if we take a look at it, you're going to assume it's going to be two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen, right? So we should be able to just by using that, 
right, be able to assume or guess that combining these two things together are going to equal water. And you'd be absolutely correct. But in order to fill a bucket, we need 16 of them. So uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves hydrogen and oxygen, and we'll go ahead and combine them. I'm going to hit the pause here. This is where this pause feature really comes in handy. Um, because we need to set this up. So there's 16 and 16, but I already have one. So really we need 30 and then we can kind of sort it from there and we'll resume and that should get us the 16 that we need. Perfect. And then the last bit is just to put the bucket in here and put our water on top and it will give us a water bucket. So that's how those tasks are going to be worked out. And uh, like I said, overall, this is going to be something really, really cool and really fun that we're going to have to get into. All of these are going to do is give us some extra money. This stuff comes from mob drops. So, I mean, except for lead, I don't think lead comes from mob drops or maybe it's a small chance to come from bones. Um, but that was what we're working towards. I want to work towards a hopping bonsai because I believe that is going to be the best way to start generating a bit more EMC. So we'll just take the hopper out and that gets us a quest that gets us quite a few useful tools like another hopper, an item conduit and a Yetta wrench. Really nice. And this is going to push us towards speedy hoppers and things like that. So I'm assuming that we're going to have to take this progression line all the way out um, in order to do this. Like a speedy hopper is just going to require more iron. And we do have the ability to make more iron. So might as well do that. I'll just do two more stacks of it here. There we go. Get us eight more. And we take a normal hopper. And we do this, and that gets us a speedy hopper. The speedy hopper, I'm guessing, is going to push us into other things, like this hopper, which is going to be gold, and we haven't really gotten into gold yet. Uh, looks like netherrack and stuff is going to push us in that direction which is going to take a little bit of time to get to. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also check out the Discord link down in the description below. And we also do live stream over on twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect where you will find me there as well. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, I have no idea what you're doing. You must not be that into chemistry. Anyways, I really appreciate it guys. I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.